Hey everyone, welcome back to this awesome channel. I hope you are doing good. So friends, this week I had an interview in a company from Bangalore, and the question that was asked to me was LRU Cache Design. So friends, the interview first told me that what is cache. He told me that cache is a memory which is close to the CPU, which is smaller in size and it is very fast. Then on the basis of that, he asked me that if I know about LRU Cache. So friends, what I told him was that LRU stands for least recently used cache. and it uses the concept of temporal locality and in lru we keep recently accessed item in cache and remove the least recently accessed item okay so there were also other questions also but all those questions i have already like covered in the other interview series like the video in which i have told my interview experience with airtel byju's and make my trip so i will drop those link in the description box you can check those out so friends uh, let discuss like i have told you what is lru cache now let me tell you the approach that i have given to him in this video i will be telling you a brute force approach so do watch this video till the end and for efficient approach we will be covering that topic in another video so friends let's suppose the capacity of our cache is 4 and the items that are given to us are these 10 20 10 30 40 50 30 40 60 and 30 so friends what will be the expected cache behavior so this is so he asked me that what data structure i will be taking to design my cache so the brute force approach it was and i was i told him that i would be taking array so this is the array that i have taken and the capacity is 4 as we can see so friends let's take the first item that will be 10 we will first check that if is 10 already present in the cache or not so we had a miss over here hit and miss two things are there if that item is already present in the cache then it is a hit if it is not present then it is a miss so over here we have got a miss first so what we are going to do is we are going to simply push that item into our cache cool now when we go for the second item 20 20 is also not present in the cache if it is present in the cache then we are simply going to return its index but if it is not present then we are going to simply push it into the front because it is recently accessed item okay so similarly when we let's suppose now we come to 10 again now what will happen that now we are accessing 10 again now we are going to pop it out from its position that was one at index and we are going to bring it to the front cool now we have got 30 so 30 was also not there in the cache so we are going to uh, push it into the front similarly now 40 comes 40 will be for 40 will be going to the front now friends focus over here now we have 50 cool so for the case of 50 what we uh, what we will do is we will check that 20 in the array first we will check that our array is full or not so friends over here our cache is full now what we are going to do is we are going to remove 20 because it is least recently accessed so what we are going to do we are going to first remove 20 from our cache and we are going to insert 50 so our new cache will be 50 40 30 and 10 as you can see over here 50 40 30 and 10 now what is happening over here again we are going to get 30 so for that particular case we are going to we are going to do is we are going to push 30 like we are going to remove 30 from here and push it into the front so the new cache will look something like this now when we get 40 now what we are going to do 40 is already there in the cache but now it is now it comes into the criteria of recently accessed so we are going to remove it from here and push it over here cool as you can see over here and now when 60 comes now when 60 comes our cache is full now once again what we have to do is we have to remove 10 because it is least recently accessed we are going to remove 10 and we are going to push 60 now this will be the new cache and similarly friends Uh, there was not enough space so what we can do uh, like to for presentation uh, so the last item will be 30 and it will be popped out from here and it will come here cool so friends this is the behavior that i gave to the interviewer and now let's code this using array so friends what we can do over here let's create a class first lru cache over here goes the constructor and we are going to take a capacity capacity of our cache so this dot capacity equals the capacity that we are getting 
and one more thing we are going to maintain will be the cache that will be the array cool now friends what we are going to introduce is one function that will be get item and another function that will be the set item both of these will take the item that we have to set and the item that we have to get so friends one more thing that we are going to take over here will be a function is cache full it will check if the cache is full or not so friends it will simply return true if this dot cache dot length is equal equals to this dot capacity cool i hope the logic over here is clear now friends what will get item will do so get item will simply return this dot cache dot index of the item cool i hope these two logics are clear to you all in this we are simply checking if our cache is full or not and inside this we are checking if cache exists or not so this index of will return the index of the item if it is present and if it is not present it is going to return the minus one cool now friends in this set item what we are going to do is first take the item item index equals this dot get item pass the item so we have got the item index now we have to check for two things like if item is present or not so if so if item is not present that is the position is equal equals to minus 1 one condition will be this and another condition will be if item is present in the cache so friends if item is present in the cache then i have told you what we have to do we have to this dot cache dot splice i'm using splice over here to remove that item from its index and pushing it again this so friends i hope the logic till here is clear to you all what we have done is we have simply checked if that particular item is present then we have to remove that item from its particular position because now it will be the recently access and we have to push it to the front and in javascript how you can push the item to the front is with the help of unshift method now friends if that particular item is not present if it is not present in the item uh, like in the cache then comes the two condition one condition will be that if is cache full if our cache is full then we have to perform certain steps and if our cache is not full then we have to perform certain steps if our cache is not full then we have to do is this dot cache we have to always check we have to maintain our capacity we do not have more capacity cache is always smaller in size so uh, if the cache is not full then what we can do is cache dot unshift our item the item that is given to us cool but if it is full then what we are going to do this dot cache dot pop just pop one element that will be the less recently used we have to pop that element from the back and after popping that element what we can do is we can simply push it once again so friends i hope the logic that i have written over here is clear to you all so let's have a look at it let's try running it so over here what we can do is let cache equals new l r l r u cache and i am going to pass the capacity as 4 of my cache and now friends uh, let's try setting all these things like cache dot set item so friends i have added all those items like 10 20 10 30 40 up till 30 and what we are going to do to see how our cache looks after every items we set so we can have a console.log over here console.log so friends let's have a look now node lru cool so over here as i've told you it is a miss first we are going to see in our cache if 10 exists 
10 was not there so we simply push 10 then 20 20 was not there then we simply pushed 20 like into the front to the front okay now 10 over here now 10 was there in the cache so what we did was we popped it from here like we use splice and we pushed it to the front because now it is recently accessed for 30 again 30 was not there so we pushed it into the front 40 was not there so we pushed 40 to the front now friends for 50 now our code comes over here for 50 50 we checked that the size the capacity is full so what we are going to do we are going to remove the least recently accessed item that is 20 in this case and we we first remove 20 and then we like pushed 50 cool similarly with 30 40 and when the case similarly with 30 yeah 30 we removed from here and we pushed into the front and 40 also was already present so we removed from its particular position and we pushed to the front for 60 again our capacity was full so we removed 10 and pushed 60 to the front and for 30 30 was there so we removed 30 from its position and pushed to the front so friends as i've shown you in the presentation our stack is similar to that this particular log that we have printed so this this was a small uh, like this was a small implementation of lru cache design that i gave to the interviewer so after seeing this uh, like he was little bit convinced but not much because after that he asked me to write down the efficient approach like more efficient approach because we are using array over here so the time complexity and space complexity that we got was big of n cool but uh, but the interview needed big of one so friends in this video i have only discussed brute force approach we'll be discussing efficient approach in next video so friends till then i hope uh, you have learned something new from this video if yes then please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching